Welcome to the 11th video on CSS layouts. We're going to add some buttons to our navigation bar. So the first thing we want to start out with is HTML. And so let's go to our div section in our HTML. And as usual, I already typed some of this out, so I'm just going to copy and paste in here. And of course, we start out with a unordered list element, close it out, and then we put a list element inside the unordered list element. So each one of our list elements will be a button. And then when we get to the CSS portion of this, we will style each one of these buttons. So right now, this is just the raw HTML. And we'll put in an href later when we get to master and content pages. So for now, we're just going to keep that empty. We're just going to have the name of the button, which in this case is just going to be the home button. So let's go ahead and make a few more buttons. So what else do we want? Well, since this is a history site, we want a section on ancient Greece. So let's put a section on ancient Greece. We'll have a button for that. And uh, let's do another section on ancient Rome. And we'll add yet another button and we'll do a section on World War II. So we'll have four big historical subjects. And let's save our HTML. And let's open up our web page, and there you can see we've just got raw HTML right here, raw HTML. And of course, now we need to format all of these so these look like they're actually buttons, not just raw HTML. So let's close this out. Okay, so let's deal with the CSS now. Now, we're going to replace all of the CSS code we originally had for the nav bar. Actually, well, we're gonna, I'm going to copy and paste right over this, and then you guys can type it in. Uh, we'll, we will actually keep the margin and the border radius, but I've already uh, typed it into the new code, so I'm just going to copy and paste over this. And here you can see we've got some new code here. Now, I changed the background color to black. I'll show you this in a minute. This list style type property gets rid of the bullet points so you need to set that to none and that gets rid of the bullet points we want to center our button so we use the text align property we don't want a lot of padding because i want the buttons right near the edge of our nav bar i think that looks pretty cool so we're going to put just a small amount of padding of five pixels and we'll keep the same margin and border radius like i said so let's go ahead and save this and Voila, we've got buttons now in our nav bar. Of course, we need to style these. Now, the first thing we need to do now is get these buttons to display side by side. We do not want them in a top down order, and these are being treated as block elements. We want these to be displayed side by side. So, we need to create a new rule to switch these elements to inline, and we'll do that. So, let's go ahead and just copy and paste this and we will put an li element here and we're just going to use one rule for this we're going to call this display and then we're going to say inline okay so let's hit the save button and you will see now that the buttons are displayed side by side now a couple of things first you might ask, why didn't we just style the nav bar itself? Why do we? Why are we styling the UL element? And that's because I only want the box model. Remember the CSS boxes? I only want that for the UL because I want the buttons to size right to the edge of the element. Now, if we take this out, you'll see, and we save this, you'll see that we get a box model now for the div. And there you can see it. Now, you might want that, but I don't. So we're not going to style the div. We only want to style the UL. So if we put this UL back in here, we'll just get the box model for the UL, as you can see right here. And so I think that looks better. Now, one more point. Here, of course, with this rule set, we are styling the list element. But it's good practice to put the path towards that list element. In this case, it's the UL. So we start with the nav bar. Of course, we, we need that. But we don't necessarily have to put the UL there. We could have just put the LI element, and we would have got the same results. But it's good practice to put this in here so you know the path from the nav bar to the UL to the list element. But I'll show you. We can actually pull this out and save this, and we'll get the same exact results. And there you can see we get the same thing but like i said it's good practice to put the ul in there so that you know the path okay that is going to do it for this video in the next video we will start styling the buttons see you guys then